a real German football fan experience. Getting on a bus, traveling five hours to North Germany with a bus full of crazy Valky fans drinking beer and eating a lot of good food. <laughs> everybody, this is Connor Sullivan. I hope you like the little intro. Yes, it is true. This is a Stuttgart sweater. This is a Stuttgart scarf. This is a Stuttgart hat and I have a jersey. I got what I needed because there's a game today. Hanover versus Stuttgart and I'm from Stuttgart so I have to represent. It's currently 5 in the morning. I'm gonna train down to the main station in Stuttgart. I'm gonna hop on a bus with some of the fans that are taking it all the way to Hanover. I already have a ticket. I'm getting on this bus. I'm gonna be with you guys in white with a scarf. Another crazy experience in Germany with your boy Connor Sullivan. Thanks for watching. And when this train comes, the adventure starts. Thanks again. Lego. It's empty. Oh, there's one guy sleeping. Watch this. This is how you get on the train. You push the button when it turns green. Thank you. Where should I sit? Too many options. This should be a dang good day, man. Let's go. Conversations, talking to my oh, I just got here, back Nang Station. I'm meeting Micah and a few other fans at the fan bus. I don't know where, but I'm gonna look for the Valve B people. Let's see if we can get on this bus. Yo, this is Micah. He's driving me to the, the, the fan bus, right? I'm driving uh, to, to my pub. I have a pub. Oh, you this have a one, pub? This one, and then Derry Start. Woo, that's cool, man. I gotta come visit the pub sometime. So we're driving from the pub, and then we're gonna go to Hanover, and then from there we go right to the stadium. Let's do it. That would be, y'all. We even got the Bauer V Foosball Stuttgart, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the beer man. They have more cases of beer than food. This is a real German football fan experience. Getting on a bus. Traveling five hours to North Germany with a bus full of crazy Valve B fans drinking beer and eating a lot of good food. Let's go, baby. That's the bus. Is this the, the Stuttgart music? Hey! Playing Valve B music, riding on a bus five hours, drinking beer together. This is the perfect fan experience, bro. <laughs> Legit, it's like tailgating for five hours before you get to the game on a bus. Then you tailgate more, then you watch the game, then you come back and tailgate more. Look it. Look at this, man. Michael hooked it up. Thank you again. I appreciate it. He gave me a, a shirt, look it. This is his bar right here. Kick and Rush, Stuttgart, with my number on it. I'm in the fan club, man. Let's go. All right, I'm here with Daniel. Okay. Where are you from, though, in, in Germany? From Stuttgart. Oh, he's from Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart is one of the best cities in Germany. And honestly, I'm coming to realize that because it's like, it like, has a good feel. It's, yeah. it's not too big, but it's really, uh, it's beautiful. A lot of stuff to do. They have a good soccer team. I, and I heard that this is one of the best supported soccer teams in all of Germany. Even better than... Uh, one Bob. of the best. It is the best. It's the best. It's okay. the best. This is the good view, look at I'm right next to the driver in the very front seat. Dang, man. And another cool thing about driving in Germany is the countryside, absolutely beautiful. They mow all the grass, so it looks perfect. A lot of trees. It's green everywhere. I love it, man. Let's go. I'll 
Let's try it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Thank you, sir. How do you do it? Do you just eat it normally? This is a wurst. Wurst? Sausage. 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 And you just take a bite of each. And a Weckle. Weckle. Oh, and look at this, too. I got a jersey with my name on it. Mr. Sullivan. Oh. <laughs> quarterback, Mr. Quarterback. This is a sausage. And a Weckle. Weckle is the same of uh, same uh, than... What's your favorite team in the football? When it comes to football. It's good. This is like a pretzel. Pretzel, yes, yes. Yeah. It, it tastes like a pretzel. I'm getting one for the road. This is really good. Thank you, man. Okay, let's go, Sue Garden. I'm meeting a lot of people here. Nice people. And I'm also learning that not every game is a blood rivalry. So I've, apparently, this one's not as intense. Still soccer, still fun. We're gonna enjoy every minute. Are you drinking it? That's you. That's for you. For <laughs> you. For you. Wait, ready? pit stop and I gotta say this away from the crowds that this bus ride has been really cool another eye-opening experience at first I didn't know anybody at first and I was being quiet and I wanted to make sure that I was respectful for what they did not filming everything but then as always the longer you're with people the more you get to know them you talk to them you learn new things now I feel like I'm part of the group We're singing songs having a good time riding up to Hanover and I'm sitting with some of these people and learning things about Germany that I would never would have learned if I just look in a textbook. And that's why I always say when you travel, that's the best professor, the best teacher you can ever have because you learn things firsthand. You see things firsthand. I just want to say this. I appreciate every single person on the bus that I rode up to the game with because you guys have been more than welcoming. You have shown me what German culture is like. Another, you know, experience showing that you guys are open to people from all over the place, you know, from all over the world. So thank you guys. Also this, last pondering before I get back on the bus. The more I film, the more I see, the more I realize that I want to film and travel for the rest of my life and play sports and be athletic as long as I can. Even if that means being an athlete in the way of climbing mountains and doing crazy stuff like that. Like, so when I finally, you know, when football is over, which it's going to be over because not everybody plays, like, 
the oldest guy ever to play is 40 years old, so when I'm 40, I will uh, start cycling or something and become Lance Armstrong and do it in the Olympics. Yep. There's the flowers if you're... If you're uh, All right, I learned something new. Yeah. All those yellow flowers on the side of the road, you make a special oil for cooking. Of course. Okay, so I didn't know that. We call it hop. But I'm hop. How do you spell it? R-A-P-S. R-A-P-S. Oil. oil. All right, cool. That's dope. That's true. You see those yellow flowers everywhere. It looks, it looks really nice, but it has a purpose too. That's Germany. That's Germany. That's Germany. Uh, I took a little nap. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. We're still in here. Got the music going. Get ready, guys. Almost to the stadium. I gotta get all these songs on my iPod. They're dope. It's like club music. That you sing with your friends, I guess. I didn't get it on film, but he was mooning the bus. There was a uh, Hanover fan, and people on our bus were flipping him off. And he just smiled and waved, and everybody laughed. I think that's the best way to deal with things. That's how I try to do it too. If someone ever gets super upset, or they're, you know, just smile and wave, and best way. They're mixing before the game, so it's not going to be a crazy derby, but it's going to be crazy because if we win, personally, go nuts. Alright, we're coming up to the intersection. Last time I was in Hanover, crazy riot police. If you haven't seen it, it's literally right here. Everywhere. Check out that video. This is gonna be a different experience. But right at this intersection that we're coming up to was where all the riot police walked down. I guess they do have some riot police. Ah, we'll see. It might be the same. But they got, they got some escort. It's crazy. Why do they have it? Why are they, why are they escorting them? Uh, they are uh, the hooligans from Suga. Oh, yeah? The hooligans from Suga get their own escort. So there are benefits of being a hooligan. Police escorts. <laughs> We got a casualty. We just got out the bus here on the train tracks because it was a little too crowded. So we're all gonna walk in a group. Right here. They still got the cops right there, horses. But I'm on the other side. Last time I was coming in on Hanover, I'm coming in on Bow of Feet. We're in, baby. They don't have the riot police like they did last time I was here, Hanover Brownswike. They had it blocked off. Now everybody's sitting together, so it's less of a derby, more of a game. I'm excited. The stadium looks better without all that riot police. Look at that.
other team's players and the VFB fans are saying a-hole every time they introduce somebody. It's pretty funny. to come back but I'll say this I just wanted to talk away from all the people they're all up there I would say this is my first normal football experience going to a game with a team before the game and it's not a derby because the derbies were nuts they had so many cops so many fights this is more of the the fans are cheering against each other but for their team to win and less because they hate the other people and where they're from and I'm I'm integrated into the stands I've always been kind of off in the back the very first one I was in the back of the uh, opponent block second one I was actually here in Hanover that was a derby as well though then I went to Bauer B versus Union Berlin but I was kind of hiding on the side because I didn't want to be seen by everybody because a lot of people knew me I was waving the flag and this is the very first time that I'm wearing gear so I'm kind of uh, I look like this I'm kind of standing in the middle of everybody and not a lot of people notice me so it, it's kind of cool to finally be a fan of Valve B integrated in the chance. You guys saw it all. It's super cool. They got to be able to stop some riots if they have to. So they got horses. They got riot police, but not as much. Last time it was nuts. But this time I, I feel a little bit, uh, this is the safest I've ever felt at a game. Um, I like this atmosphere a little bit better if I'm a fan trying to watch. If I'm a fan trying to just see the pyro and crazy stuff, derbies are great. But I end up not watching any of the game. This time I'm actually standing, chanting, watching the game. So this is a good one. 
Everyone's cheering. Brownswag's getting their butt beat. Everyone's cheering for Brownswag to lose. Because then they both can move up to first league. We got like two minutes left. There's still chain. We gotta get this win. One nothing. I'm going back to my seats. Come on. That's what I will say. Okay, rapid reaction. I'm in the bus. We didn't get the we didn't get the result we wanted. It was one nothing. But you guys saw, even though they lost the game, the Bauer B fans were there cheering, supporting their club regardless of the result. So that was really cool to see. And I will say, I hope you can hear me because they're they're chanting. Um, I was in the middle of the fans, and they were chanting the entire game, always upbeat, always positive, supporting their team. And I will say, out of all the games that I've gone to, and honestly in the states too, Bauer B fans, best fans I've ever experienced. Best fans that I have ever experienced. If you have fans that you think might be better, supportive-wise and with chants like this. Let me know what fans are better. But I think, and I know that I've heard from a lot of you guys that Valor B has a long history of playing in the Bundesliga. So they have a very, uh, you know, historic fan base that comes all their games. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys having me. And even though that you guys lost, Brownswijk also lost. So you're moving up to the first league, Bundesliga. Moving up to first league, Bundesliga. All right, they're, they're calling me. What? Support your club. <laughs> As I was saying, is uh, they have a very historic fan base, so they're always chanting. And uh, even though they lost one to nothing, the goal differential between them and Hanover is still too great. So Bobby is in first place, and with Brownswijk's loss, they go up to the first division. So congratulations. Another alcoholic beverage that I was given. I take it as a gift. And I bring it back home. I'm not